right, I uh, grew up in the Chicago area, and for the first 18 years of my life, I was a Roman Catholic and went to church regularly. I was an altar boy for several years and um, just uh, grew up all around that whole uh, culture. And Chicago is quite uh, Catholic. And, but after my first year uh, in engineering school at Purdue University, I got a job in South Chicago and uh, welding railroad cars in a factory. And it just so happened at that same factory, there were upwards of 100 Bible college students that were uh, free grace people. And they began to witness to me and to, to give me tracts to read. And, and one night, about a couple of weeks after they first started to witness to me, I was standing at the doorway of the uh, factory and looked out as about 90 men were eating lunch. One man every night would get up and share the gospel. And I remember them singing Amazing Grace and watched their faces uh, aglow with the glory of God. And as I stood there and was falling under the conviction of the Holy Spirit, a co-worker came up behind me and tapped me on the shoulder and he said, what I couldn't do with a blickety blank and hand grenade, and he cursed. In that very moment, it's as if God uh, said, Bob, you've got what he's got. You don't have what they have. And about a week after that, a guy that worked right next to me on the, on the uh, welding rig right there, we welded the underframes of covered hopper cars. This uh, former Catholic, he was about my age. He had gotten saved about three months before I did. He came up to me and gave me a book. And he said, Bob, if you read this book, I believe you'll get saved. And I began to read that that night. Uh, the manufacturing part of the factory broke down. And I remember the boss saying, hey, you've got about four hours tonight to just, you want, you want to go all out behind the factory and take a nap, go ahead. So I took that book and went out behind that factory. And it had just what I needed, scripture after scripture after scripture. And of course, being a Catholic, I never really read the Bible. And saw scripture after scripture on how salvation was a gift and eternal life was absolutely free. And it was the most incredible thing that I had ever read. And in, in the, between the back and the front and back cover of that book, I remember getting about halfway through and closing that book and saying to myself, I've believed a wood nickel. And I trusted Christ that very evening. I don't remember praying a prayer. I don't remember uh, even saying anything. I just came back the next evening and saw all those uh, Bible college students standing there just before the whistle blew at 4 p.m. And I went up to them in a group and I said, hey guys, last night I got saved. <laughs> and they were so excited and they invited me to church. I went to church with them that Sunday. I got baptized. Went back to Purdue that fall for my second year of engineering school and got invited to Bible college where I got called into the ministry. And so for my fourth semester of college, I ended up going to Bible college and finishing my bachelor's and master's there and then launching out into local church ministry. But I've probably shared that story since uh, the summer of 1979 about God intervening in my life and giving me a job with 90 men who were on fire for God and the message of the grace of God. And I uh, am eternally thankful to our Lord Jesus Christ for his uh, grace toward me and his mercies.